and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements for other healthcare practitioners, use toxic pharmaceutical drugs, and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, skin health questions, formulation questions, ingredient questions, something you may have heard about or read about in the paper or seen on the internet, 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we especially like hearing those, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the website as well for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you've used nutritional supplements to change your life, to reduce the incidence of whatever health challenge you may be dealing with, and you want to share that with others, you can make some money at the same time. You can make some money doing that at the same time, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team, phone team, and they can tell you all about it. If you want to purchase any of our True Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and make sure you take a specially long look at our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, as well as our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, and Truth Balm. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with dry skin or, or a, a, a wrinkled skin or you you want to prevent wrinkled skin, anti-age your skin topically. You want to drive the production of connective tissue. And the only two ingredients that can do that topically are vitamin A and vitamin C. I'm not saying that vitamin A and vitamin C are the only two ingredients you ever want to put on your skin because you also need to have some mechanism for driving those ingredients into the lower levels, into the dermis, into the connective tissue. That is so-called transdermal ingredients, particularly esters and fatty acids. And that's why our truth treatment products are low loaded not only with vitamin A and vitamin C, but also transdermal penetrants, fatty acid esters that help carry the active ingredients into the dermis. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking skin health. Last we spoke, we talked about how we assess each other based on our, or at least partially based on the appearance of our skin. It's as if we intuitively understand that we are uh, healthier as well as more sexually vital. We will produce better babies if our skin is healthy and youthful looking. We intuitively understand that there's a link between the look of the skin and the health of the body in general. By the way, this is this is why uh, is so called. Uh, the meme is, or the belief is, that blondes have more fun. This is why women and men link blondness with beauty. Blonde is connected to fertility. Blonde is, is a sign of estrogen, as well as youth. Little girls will often have blonde hair that will turn darker as they get older, and women who are blonde will notice that their hair gets darker after they have their first baby. After a woman has her first baby, typically her estrogen levels will drop, and along with that drop will be a color change in the hair. Blonde is linked to blonde hair. Blonde coloration is linked to 
estrogen, femininity, both in men and women. Uh, elevated estrogen levels in men are also associated with blonde hair, at least in youth, not necessarily as, as men get older, but in youth. And babies who are exposed to estrogen in the womb or who have moms who are highly estrogenic, who are round or curvy or buxom, moms who have thicker hair, these are all signs of estrogen. Moms who have, uh, babies who have moms who are estrogenic will also tend to have blonde hair. In any case, we judge each other by our skin. And because no one tells us about the relationship between the inside and the outside, and nobody tells us about what the inside is really all about, we come up with all kinds of strategies to manipulate our skin externally, to manipulate the appearance of our skin, to attempt to manipulate the health of our skin topically. And even worse, we've got this nasty business, the skincare business, run by business people, run by bookkeepers, run by bankers, run by marketers, run by movie stars and celebrities and people who, who are opinion shapers, opinion leaders. And through our own ignorance, through our own ignorance about how the skin works, about how the body works, we can't blame the bookkeepers, we can't blame the, the business people. So we're partially responsible for falling for it. It's all a matter of you know greed and cynicism and money, and, and it's just twisted. It's not fair. It's anti-humanity. I want to scream every time I see that Cindy Crawford commercial and Dr. Savak. I know I, I pick on her a little bit because it's just egregious, and it's uh, the classic example of how manipulative this business is. But it's not just Cindy Crawford. It's all over the place. I got just, just got to watch infomercials, and you'll see it. It's manipulative. It's cynical. And it takes advantage of these, our basic inherent desires to mate, to find a mate, to be uh, form relationships, and it's just not fair. Everyone knows, we say it all the time, the skin is an organ of the body. Would we ever disguise another organ of the body to uh, fool other people to thinking it was healthy? Never. If your skin is not healthy, if our skin is not healthy, if we had eczema, psoriasis, dry skin, sensitive skin, aging skin, photo damaged skin, this is all about the inside of the body. Even photo damaged skin, which of course is uh, uh, many times the result of, uh, of excessive sun exposure, is not just about the sun. It's about the inside. It's about nutritional deficiencies. It's about defects in the connective tissue. There's no way around it. If the skin is not healthy, we are not healthy. The skin is intimately connected to the inside of the body. The skin offers us an opportunity to look in the inside of the body. It offers us a golden opportunity that we, have, we cannot take advantage of in any other way. The skin will allow us to peer into the insides of the body because of its nature as an organ on the outside. You can do this with any organ. You know, you can, you can do a biopsy on the lung, or you can do a biopsy on the liver, or you can do a biopsy on the intestine, and you can determine what's happening inside the body. But you've got to do a biopsy. You've got to have a surgical procedure. With the skin, you don't have to have any of that. If you speak skin, if you have a skincare professional that understands the language of the skin, they can tell you about what's happening in your digestive system, or really any other part of your body. And by the way, the nails, which are technically part of the skin, are the fastest growing tissue in the body, and you could tell a lot about the inside of the body by the nails. Under conditions of nutritional deficiency, the body will pull the nutrients, its, its scant amount of nutrients, or whatever nutrients it has, to the center of the body, away from the nails, away from the hair, away from the skin. This is another reason why you want to use topical vitamins on the skin. If you are under, if your body is laboring under a condition of vitamin C deficiency, which is not uncommon, or vitamin A deficiency, which is not uncommon, that vitamin C and vitamin A are coming away from the skin, and the skin is going to become deficient faster than any other part of the body, which is why topical vitamin C and topical vitamin A can be so helpful. You will kind of bypass this, this reallocation mechanism, this rerouting mechanism by putting your vitamin C and vitamin A topically. So the skin is an organ on the outside. And this is so important. It, this is as important as it is counterintuitive. It seems so external. It's so easy to believe that I can rub something on the outside and make a difference. And when our dermatologist or unfortunately our naturopath or, or skincare professional tells us to rub calendula on our eczema, we'll go for it. Because it seems like it's on the outside. It looks so outside, so external. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back right after this on The Bright Side. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. Got lines open at 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in our next segment, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, I love talking to my smart listeners. If you guys are listening to this program, you are smarter than the average. That's for sure, because I don't dumb things down on this program. This is not a program where I just tell you what to do. This is a program I tell you why you want to do what you do, or why you want to do what you have to do. That's what the bright side is all about. The body is a healing system, folks. It regenerates itself. It does it on its own. It just needs raw materials to do its work. And of course, we've got to avoid the bad stuff. That's pretty much it. It's so simple when you think about it. Put the good stuff in and keep the bad stuff out. If we're not feeling as good as we should, we're not as healthy as we should, we got too much of the bad stuff and not enough of the good stuff. It really is not that complicated and is most definitely health challenges for the most part, unless they become emergencies, for the, are not doctor issues. They're not medical issues. They, the doctor, the middleman, med means middle, the middleman has no business interfering with our health. And if we buy into the meme, if we buy into the lie, we're going to be stuck in this medical model that does nothing to get us better. It is a nasty profession in the sense that it does nothing to get us better. I'm not saying doctors are nasty, because I know a lot of them, and they're good for the most part. They're well-meaning. It's not about the individual doctors. It's about the model. It's about the institution of medicine, and as we always say on this program, it's always the institution versus the individual. The institution's interests are not the same as the individual's interests, and any time we voluntarily, voluntarily interact with an institution to help, our, to help us as individuals, we have drank in the, we've drunk the Kool-Aid. We've drinking, whatever that word is, we've drank the Kool-Aid. We've bought into the lie. And this is, there's no system that is more prone to dishonesty and deceit and to us buying into the lie than the system we call the skin. The integument system is what this system is technically called. If you got a condition on the outside, if you got a skin condition on the outside, you have a problem on the inside. And when I say the inside, I don't, I don't necessarily mean the inner cavity of the body, although that's true. You can have a condition in the dermis, in the underlying uh, connective tissue. That's what the dermis is underneath the, the surface of the skin. And this is true about every skin condition. There's no such thing as a skin condition that does not at least in, uh, partially involve the dermis. I shouldn't say no such thing. Occasionally, you can have a topical or, as they say, contact dermatitis or contact issue. But the vast majority of skin health issues involve the dermis as well as the interior of the body. This is true about even ordinary, mundane, dry skin, technically called xerosis, which seems to affect everyone. When I do my talks and my presentations on skin health, I'll, uh, invariably I'll say, how many of you guys have dry skin? And almost everybody will raise their hand. This should never happen. Human skin should never be dry. Yet the moisturizer business, and by the way, that is one of the dumbest words ever, moisturizer. That's a strictly a marketing word. It's a meaningless marketing word. It, at any time anyone uses it, they reveal that they don't know about the skin. Because a moisturizer can't moisturize. You can't add water to the skin by putting it on the surface. Moisture is water. Think about it. A moisturizer, what is that? It's wax, and it's emulsifier, and it's oil. How is that going to add water to your skin? Yet this business is a billion dollar business that, uh, it, that every adult alive, nearly every adult alive, interacts with. You should never need a moisturizer. I have never used a moisturizer on my skin in all my five plus decades on the planet. I have never put a moisturizer on my skin except to test it, or, or test them, perhaps. You shouldn't need a moisturizer. Human skin is not designed to, to ever need a moisturizer. Yet everybody uses a moisturizer. Dry skin, like any other condition, is about the inside. It's about the dermis. And by the way, you can drink all the darn water you want if you have dry skin, and it's not going to make a wits bit of difference unless you are, I was going to say unless you're severely dehydrated, but even that. You can drink all the water you want, and it's not going to make a wits bit of difference on your dry, parched skin. And anyone who tells you that reveals that they don't understand what, how the skin works. Water is trapped in the dermis. It's trapped in the connective tissue, and water, or uh, the connective tissue feeds the cells on the surface so that they can hold on to water more effectively. And the water that's trapped in the connective tissue is of a different characteristic than the kind of water we drink. It's called structured water. 
the relationship between the connective tissue and water is such that the connective tissue organizes the water. It makes it more electroconductive. The water in the dermis conducts electricity as does the dermis itself. Remember, it's piezoelectric. It's pyroelectric. It's ferroelectric. It's electrical and photonic. Your skin emits light too, as well as electricity. It's an electrical generator. And it's not just the dermis. The epidermis, the surface, is also piezoelectric and pyroelectric. Now, the bulk of the skin is the dermis. It's 90% of the skin. The surface, the stratum corneum, the very tippy top, is about a tenth of a piece of paper. The epidermis is about a piece of paper thick. And then the dermis is about nine pieces of paper. 90% or so of the skin is in the dermis. And this is one major, major reason why the connective tissue is such so darn important when it comes to skin health. Most of our skin is connective tissue. Thinning skin, wrinkle-prone skin, photo-damaged skin is not just a beauty issue, it is a health issue. It's a connective tissue issue. And this is why driving collagen production out of the fibroblasts and, and, and if you like cells, and I don't know if you like cells out there, hopefully I've given you a, uh, in this, on this program, a, a new fact love for the cell. There's 200 different cells in the body, and as we say on this program all the time, all disease is cell disease, preceded by dirty blood and, and dirty connective tissue, but all disease is about the cell. The cells that make the connective tissue, they're called fibroblasts, are absolutely mind-blowing in terms of their importance and, and fundamental nature. As any skincare professional will tell you, you estheticians out there, I know there's a bunch of you guys listening, you know good and well what I'm talking about. The fibroblast is the king of the connective tissue. Uh, of the connective tissue. It's maybe not the king, it's the mother. It's the matrix of the connective tissue. It's the womb of the connective tissue. The hyaluronic acid that everybody loves so much, that comes from the fibroblast. The collagen that we all love so much, that comes from the fibroblast. The elastic fibers, they come from the fibroblast. All the gooey substance that makes the extracellular matrix, that comes from the fibroblast. When we have fibrosis, which is a repair mechanism, if you have fibrosis in the lungs, that's a repair mechanism. If you have fibrosis in the brain, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, that's a repair mechanism. If you have fibrosis in the heart or the aorta, the, the arteries that go to the heart, and cholesterol for that matter, those, are all, those involve the, fib, uh, the fibroblast. Cholesterol doesn't, but the fibers do. The fibroblast makes the connective tissue, and driving the production of connective tissue from the fibroblast is the major, most important health uh, beauty strategy when it comes to having great skin. Driving the production of connective tissue from the fibroblast, and there's only two ingredients that do that, vitamin A and vitamin C, and I don't mean to harp on vitamin A and vitamin C, but that's it. Vitamin A, vitamin C are the only two topical, uh, topically applied ingredients that can turn on the fibroblast, that can activate the fibroblastic production of the connective tissue. And this is the only health and beauty strategy from a topical perspective that we need to, that we need to focus on, driving the production of connective tissue out of the fibroblasts. And it's not just about wrinkles, and it's not just about thinning skin that involve this, uh, this, this uh, fibroblastic production of connective tissue. If you have uh, eczema, if you have psoriasis, if you have sensitive skin issues, if you have cystic acne issues, again, you're looking at the connective tissue, you're looking at the, uh, the dermis, and this is why bone broth is so darn helpful and so darn important, as well as bone broth protein, by the way. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, we're coming back on the bright side right after this. 844-236-6010 is our number. The Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're on the air Monday through Friday on the bright side, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time and 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com as well as benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. You can purchase products off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. If you're interested in our connective tissue building truth skin health products, vitamin A rich, vitamin C rich, all my products are packed with vitamin C in its fat soluble form, truth serum, truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream, as well as our truth retinol 5% gel. I call it truth retinol 5% gel, but I might as well call it vitamin C uh, retinol. 
retinol slash vitamin C gel because it's made with a big dose, a huge dose of fat soluble vitamin C retinol. Truth Retinol 5% gel is available at truthtreatments.com. If you're interested in building connective tissue, if you want to prevent or reverse photo damage or some of the signs of aging, retinol is your go-to ingredient. Our Truth Retinol 5% gel is made, like all our Truth Skin Health products, is made without preservatives, without fillers, without waxes, emulsifiers, silicon, oil, water, per perfume, fragrances, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get to your calls here in just a second. A couple stories I want to read to you from the American Academy of Dermatology. Healthier ways for men to have younger looking skin. According to this article, men don't think about skincare, but they should. Well, I agree with that. The skin, remember, is an organ in the body. It's not just about beauty, and men need to have healthy structures and healthy organs just like women do. This is according to Dr. Anthony Rossi of the American Academy of Dermatology. Men don't think about skincare, but they should. And, but this is where he goes into, uh, digresses into silliness. Understand, this is quote, unquote, understanding your skin type will help you learn how to take care of your skin and select skincare products that are right for you, unquote, bonehead. You don't need to worry about your skin type. Everybody has the same keratinocytes, skin cells. Everybody has the same fibroblasts, dermal cells. Everybody has the same lipids. Everybody has the same stuff in their skin. This idea of skin type is more marketing hoo -ah. And for a doctor to say something like that is just ignorant. It's ignorant for anybody to say, but especially a dermatologist. You don't have to worry about your skin type. You gotta worry about, about whether your skin is healthy or it's not healthy. Simple as that. And everybody needs vitamin A and everybody needs vitamin C. If you have oily skin as opposed to dry skin, you still need vitamin A and you still need vitamin C. It's not like if you have oily skin, you need a different skin ingredient, a different topical ingredient. It's not like if you have dry skin, you need a different topical ingredient. Everybody needs the same thing. Now, if you have dry skin or you have oily skin, you gotta work on what's going on in the inside. And if you have dry skin, you maybe have to work inside a little differently, but you still need your B-complex. You still need protein. You still need EFA. You still need to watch your digestive health. This idea of the type of the skin is just marketing and advertising and uh, uh, skincare company manipulation to try to sell us more skincare products. And that's, this by the way goes, is the same thing for eye skin or nose skin or chin skin or decollete skin or foot skin or butt skin. Skin is skin. You don't need a special eye cream. You don't need a special cheek cream. You don't need a special hand cream. It's all the skin. It's the same stuff. The only difference is the thickness. The eye, skin on the eyes ha happens to be a little thinner. But it's still skin. It's still keratinocytes. It still has the same fatty factors. It still has the same dermis. It still has the same collagen. The eye skin isn't different from the skin on your big toe or on your butt. It's the same skin. You shouldn't have a separate product for your eyes and a separate product for your chin and a separate product for your decollete and a separate product for your hand if the products really work. If they really work, you should be able to use them anywhere, head to toe. If you're looking for products that really work, check out our Truth Skin Health products, by the way. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Alaska. Good morning, Elaine. How you doing? Good morning, pharmacist Ben. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Did that make sense what I said about the skin and how eye skin is the same as hand skin or anything else? Yeah, yeah. I, Isn't that crazy? Know, yeah, Have, like up, up here in Alaska, cuticles are just, I don't know, it's a struggle. <laughs> your cuticles? Yeah. EFAs. Okay, more. Lot, lots of them, lots of good fats. Hey, I've got a, a, a patient, uh, just real quick, you know, I'm calling um, uh, for him because he said he's willing and he's open to listen to other ideas. Um, New Year's Eve, he was admitted to the ER um, with, I think the final diagnosis was ventricular tachycardia. His heart rate was Ooh, floating around 200 for three hours. Okay. Uh, they kept insisting he was must have been doing cocaine, and he said no. They were painting, and he just had a little... Kahlua and some eggnog. Um, okay, well, I don't think it was the Kahlua and the eggnog, but it could have been no. the paint. Was he painting like a house or a wall? Yeah, or was he painting art? A, pe a bedroom or a room. Yeah, uh, yeah. here's the thing. Ventricular, and he had no history or anything else before that? First, he never had a heart? First time, and now they seem to have him convinced that he needs a beta blocker. An ablation and all oh, an ablation. Oh, great. Yeah. And oh, then great. He, 
that he thinks I won't have to take my medication. So. Oh my goodness! Is he really going to? Is he thinking of having an ablation done? Yeah, like oh in a my God. week. Oh my God! That is one of the most barbaric, ignorant health uh, health pro or doctor protocols that anyone can ever use. For the listeners, an ablation is when they electrocute your heart, they cauterize your heart. How, in God's green earth, how the heck can anybody think that burning the heart is a good idea? I mean, I'm laughing because it's just so unbelievable to me. Right. An ablation is when they cauterize your heart. This this fleshy, wonderful, blood-rich electrical system. They'll actually burn it so that it will slow down or it will go back into a rhythm. Here's the deal. First of all, if he was painting, that, can, that could cause some kind of deprivation of oxygen. It could have triggered some kind of uh, hypoxia, low oxygen issue, and that would make the heart beat, fast, uh, heart beat faster. Hypoxia, low levels of oxygen in general can do it. So practicing slow, deep breathing is extremely important. That alone can slow the heart down. A hot bath, perhaps, that might work. Uh, anything to relax the body. A vent ventricular, ventricular tachycardia, the heart beating really, really fast, is a sign that it's under duress. That's basically what's happening. The heart is under duress. Now, this could be because it's not getting enough oxygen. And so anything you can do to oxygenate the system will work. If you have it chronically, which your friend doesn't have, but if you do have it chronically, it could be related to sugar intake. It could be related to food allergies. Allergies or, or, or digestive toxicity, you got to do exactly the same things everybody else has to do. First, activate the parasympathetic nervous system with relaxation strategies and oxygenation. In the long term, using the B vitamins, using electrolytes, potassium, calcium, magnesium, you get all those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, of course, that can be helpful. And then making sure that if he has any food allergies or digestive, tox doc digestive toxicity issues, that uh, a leaky gut syndrome, etc., those are corrected. What, the best thing for him to do is look for other health issues. Now, there's two reasons. There's two ways that you can go here. It could have been something acute, like he was breathing in fumes, in which case when he stops breathing in the fumes, he'll, he'll, uh, he won't have the problem. Uh, if it's an acute issue, that's, there's not much he has to do, except, he has, of course, he has to do the things we all have to do in terms of the mighty 90 essential nutrients, et cetera. But if it's a chronic condition, there's something underlying it, and that usually involves the digestive system. Look if it's chronic, and let's go, that, I'm going to assume it's chronic for now, a long-term thing, look for digestive health problems, reduce intake of sugar, use nutrients that help the body process sugar, and help protect the digestive system, and all the relaxation techniques we talked about. Hang on, I want to finish this up when we come back from our break, so hang on, Elaine. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side, we'll take a commercial break and come back right after this, don't go away. Side Pharmacist Ben here. Got lines open. 844-236-6010. Finishing up with Elaine in Alaska. So ventricular tachycardia. Heartbeat too fast. The ventricle is beating too fast, right? Yeah. Tachycardia just means fast heartbeat. Um, number one, it could be an acute problem, as I was saying. That means you said he was painting. He may have had fumes. That can definitely trigger it. Uh, but if it's chronic, he's got to do everything we all have to do. Relax the body, stabilize the blood sugar, and uh, focus on digestive health and digestive toxicity. So look for, or have him look for, other health challenges that are underlying, particularly digestive. If he has weight issues or has a history of, uh, of blood sugar problems, the, that's just further evidence that those two uh, aspects of health need to be addressed. But pretty much everybody needs to address these things, so it's not like it's a special problem. It's kind of a generic way the body breaks down, or a manifestation of a generic breakdown, I should say. So focus on digestive health, uh, eliminate problem foods, use all of the digestive health strategies we talk about on this program all the time, probiotics and uh, the the uh, nightly essence and apple cider vinegar with your meals and um, making sure that he's using uh, digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes with his apple cider vinegar, all of the things we talk about on the program, relaxing the body with oxygenation and hot water, um, and then also keeping his blood sugar stable, maybe using some sweeties as well as the ultimate niacin. Magnesium is an incredibly important nutrient for the heart, and it's also important for helping stabilize the blood sugar, so using the Beyond OsteoFX and making sure he's getting enough magnesium 
magnesium, 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams a day. That could be helpful. All the electrolytes, really, including potassium and calcium in addition to magnesium, and you'll get those in uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to add here? Oh, uh, ultimate EFAs, omega-3 fatty acids, very, very important for the heart, especially if we're under stress or under pressure. Omega-3 fatty acids have an anti-inflammatory and a kind of slowing down, relaxing effect as opposed to omega-6s, which turn things on. So making sure he's getting enough omega-3s from fatty fish, <coughs> excuse me, as well as his ultimate EFAs. And then a couple more things you might want to throw in. Vitamin E, 400 international units a day, and coenzyme Q10, which we'll be talking about here in the coming weeks because it's so important for connective tissue, making sure he's getting enough coenzyme Q10. And by the way, arrhythmias, as well as, uh, as, well as uh, cholesterol and plaques, are often the result of broken down connective tissue. And by arrhythmias, I'm talking about uh, tachycardias and fibrillations. Uh, when the heart goes out of rhythm, the electrical conductivity in the heart depends on a connective tissue scaffolding that heart cells lie arrest upon. And very often, we, uh, it's almost like the, the connective tissue scaffolding is invisible to us, and very often we completely ignore the fact that it's the connective tissue that feeds the cells. So making sure he's doing everything he can do to build connective tissue. That's a ton of information for you there, Elaine. Nobody has to deal with tachycardia. Just employ even some of the strategies that, that I just gave you. Uh, ideally, all of them, though. Does that help, Elaine? Yeah, and I just, you know, I don't know where he um, got the connection that having this invasive procedure performed will equate to getting off medication. So Is he on, they gave him medication for this already? He has, um, he's on medication for, I, I don't have his chart with me, but he's at medication for high blood pressure. Oh, he's already sick. He's already got problems. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all part of the same picture. Then forget what I just said about, uh, forget what I said about the acute issue. If he's already got issues, then, then it's getting worse. And everything I told you is going to help him with every single symptom that he can, he's dealing with in involving his cardiovascular system, and it will help him get off his meds without having to do an ablation. That's a terrible procedure. Have him look it up. Maybe he doesn't know what it is. Have him look it up. Yes, yeah, he needs to do the research, and I find it just unbelievable that he needs to get his pending pre-approval for a sleep study, but go ahead and get your heart ablated. You don't need any pre-approval for that. Is that crazy, Elaine? What? Uh, that's, yeah. Okay. That's, uh, I think okay, you'll thanks really for... appreciate this advice, and thank you so much for what you do for so many. Thank you so much, Elaine, for saying that. I appreciate it. Have a beautiful day. All right. That was my friend Elaine in Alaska, and let's go to San Diego and welcome Irene to the bright side. Good morning, Irene. Hi. Good morning. I'm one of the people you've helped. Oh, I, had, I love it. Um, yeah. I had... Um, Kind of hormonal, hormonal stuff, and uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay. How so? What's going um, on today? I just purchased the Flora FX, and uh -huh. I want to purchase the nice nightly essence. Also, I like it better. Yeah, I like the nightly essence much better. Okay. So, okay. So I'll get the nightly essence. So when I get that, how many should I take? Should I take much it? As as much as you want. Take at least 20 or 30 billion a day, but you can take more. You know, with, the, with the probiotics, you got to practice what I call functional dosing. I don't know if you heard me talk about this before. No. That's where you take you have a starting point, say 15 uh -huh. billion units a day, 20 billion units, something in that, in that ballpark. Then okay. you start increasing the dose, and you notice where you stop getting benefits by increasing the dose. What will typically happen is as you take more, you'll get better benefits. If you're dealing with bloating or gas or discomfort or skin problems, you'll notice that when you take your nightly essence, your symptoms improve. and they'll improve more and more as you take a bigger and bigger dose up to a certain point. Uh -huh. And when you get, find that point, in other words, you take more and you don't notice increased benefits, that's the sweet spot, and that's where you stay. And you have to, it'll take you about a week or so to get to that, to figure out where that point is. So just keep start, uh, pick a starting point and then increase your dose uh -huh. and match up your benefits with the increased dose. And when you notice there's no more benefits by increasing the dose, you stay at that last dose. That's okay. called functional dosing. And that's the best way to do your probiotics in general, uh, specifically the nightly essence, because there's really no way to know exactly where that point is for uh, for people, uh, for an individual person. You have to find it on your own. Does that help? Did I explain yeah, that? Okay? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And will it tell me, like, when, if I take it on an do I have to take it on an empty stomach or anything, or is it just... I, no, you shouldn't, it shouldn't no. matter, really. Empty. St you'll have to see where you get better results, actually. Okay. Some, some, some folks will notice they get better results with food. They'll get better absorption. Other folks will notice that sometimes the, uh, the acid from the food may negatively affect the probiotic. Again, you're going to have to see how you do. Okay. 
just ex an experiment, trial and error kind of issue. Okay, and then I have a quick question about kind of acne. And, and always I do fiber. Let me say one last thing. Always yeah. do some kind of fiber with your probiotics. Fiber feeds oh. the probiotics. It feeds the good bacteria. It doesn't have to be necessarily at the same time, but somewhere during the day you want to make sure you're getting enough fiber so that you'll have a substrate for the, or a food for the bacteria to eat. Okay, so a big salad every day. Salad's great. Enough. Vegetable juice. I like veggie juices, but yeah, salad's great. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then also, I have like little blackheads. They don't even, they're not black, on, they're just on my nose, like on my nostrils and on not my uncommon. head. Not uncommon. That's a sign of excessive secretion of sebum. The black okay. is rancid oil. I hate to be that gross, but that's basically what it is. The sebum, which is skin oil, is oxidizing. It's reacting to the oxygen in the air, and it's turning black. This is what no. happens. Yeah. Well, no, actually, they're, they're not black. It's just sort of like oh. little teeny pores. Are you just seeing the pores? Yeah, I just have pores, but then when I squeeze them, a long, skinny, you know, pus uh, like, Yeah, out. that's sebum. That's, now, okay. whenever you have, is your skin oily, or is it just there on the nose? Not really. I, would, it's, I wouldn't worry about it. If your skin's oily, that's a sign of excessive secretion of cortisol. Cortisol and sebum and oil go together. So if you're secreting lots of oil, your skin is oil, focus on uh, a stress, adrenal stress. Okay. Vitamin B5 is the all-time greatest supplement for skin oils because vitamin B5 is intimately involved in adrenal health and also the production of fats, but you need high doses of B5. Now, if your skin's not oily, I wouldn't worry about it, but you still might want to try a B complex with the B5. Always take your Bs together. You never want to take just one B by itself, so get yourself on maybe 1,000 or 2,000 milligrams of vitamin B5. I put it in my blemish repair complex, by the way, high doses of B5 with the entire B complex, and that can help with skin oils. Okay. All right, I, gotta, I want to get one more call. Is that okay, okay Irene? Did you. I help you? Yep. Okay, good. Thank take you. care. Have a, have a great day. All right, David in Panama City. Good morning. Got about a minute. What's going on, my friend? Good morning. Uh, hey. Ben, uh, my eight-year-old daughter I broke her arm about a week ago, compound fracture, and they had to do surgery. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Here, right? Uh, so I just want to give some uh, yeah. information on you on what supplements she should Absolutely. take. Absolutely. Here's a bunch of them for you. Bone soup, bone broth protein, which you can find at brightsidehealth.com. Um, anything that's got cartilage in it will help her. Glucosamine is very important. Get her on. I'm going to go fast here because we are out of time, but I want to give you a bunch of information. Go to the archive page and, and listen again uh, if, you want to, if you want to take notes. Uh, hyaluronic acid, 100 to 200 milligrams a day. Liquid silica gel. Awesome. Awesome. Important important connective tissue uh, building supplement. The bone is connective tissue, by the way. So everything we're talking about with connective tissue building is going to be important for your daughter. Uh, protein in general is important. Ultimate EFAs, nine capsules a day. Zinc, 50 milligrams a day. Zinc picolinate. Uh, vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Keep her anything, uh, off anything that uh, is pro-inflammatory in terms of foods, any foods that cause digestive health issues. Make sure you're supporting digestive health with probiotics, apple cider vinegar, etc particularly uh, when she's eating protein meals. But go with the liquid protein, like the bone soup, that will, have, that will give her a, uh, make it easier for her to absorb the nutrients. Uh, there's tons more. Magnesium is also very important. Calcium is important. I'm out of time, David. Uh, call back on Monday or send an email to ben at ksco.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. We'll be at you on Monday. Have a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular, awesome day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.